Good morning, my brothers and sisters, coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God, a God who has more love for us than we could ever understand, a God who wants us to be in a relationship with him, but doesn't force us. He gives us a choice. Praise God for that. Our word of encouragement comes from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 1. Finally, brothers, pray for us that the message of the Lord may spread rapidly and be honored just as it was with you. You know, as I'm thinking about these words, I, I, I'm thinking about the fact that I think or at least I hope that's what we all want. We want the message of the Lord to spread rapidly. We want people to, to take it in, to hear it, and then to turn around and, and tell it. There's a little commercial, uh, I've said this before, but a little commercial I remember from a kid where it says, hey, if you tell two people, uh, and then they tell two people, and the screen would go to you know the four people, and then you, they tell two people, and then all of a sudden the screen's at eight people, and, and, and it would keep going in this pattern as part of this commercial. But if, if that's how we were spreading the gospel, how fast could it spread? If I could simply tell two people, uh, and then you told two people, and someone else told two people, and someone else told two people, uh, you know, we're talking about uh, lots of people already who, who, who know the gospel. Um, before the start, plus the eight they've told, that's 12, and then they tell two people, and it multiplies. And it's just this idea that we want the gospel to spread them rapidly. Um, if we had a cure for cancer, and I, and I know again I say this, uh, how, how fast could, would that spread as we tell people? And in fact, with the internet today, with social media today, um, of course, people don't always believe it. Uh, some things sound too good to be true, uh, but the reality is, is that we can spread the good news of Jesus Christ really fast. Uh, the question is, will people hear it? Will people understand it? Will people receive it uh, and take it with them and share it? But, uh, and so it becomes not just how we spread it, but... but uh, how we share what we share, how we uh, encourage people. And I think that goes back to our testimony. You know, uh, when we're talking about God, it's not just about what God did over here or what God did back in the New Testament, but it's also about what is God doing today? What's he doing in my life? How How is he making my life so much better? Well, I can tell you that, uh, that specifically, God walks beside me um, and, and helps me. Uh, I can see his hand at work in many things. Um, sometimes we as... Uh, I guess as human beings want to pass things off to just coincidence. Hey, it's a coincidence. I found this the other day. Uh, and yet, not everything is a coincidence. In fact, I'd say most things are a coincidence. Most things are uh, driven by God. Uh, God brings things to us where God uh, gives us opportunities. Uh, the question is, is do we listen? And, and so uh, as we talk with people, it's important how we share with them about what God is doing in our lives. When we see someone healed, uh, do we think that's just a coincidence? They just got better or do we think it's God? Well, we think it's God. We think God is the one who chooses to heal people. God is the one who gives us the breath of life in our days and has plans for us if we simply are obedient. So today I say all that to say, uh, are we sharing the message that God has uh, for us to, to share? Are we telling people what's going on? Uh, are we, do we have the, the same desire that the message of, of the good news of Jesus Christ would spread rapidly amongst the people we know? I do. I, I hope you do as well. Uh, and so today, look around. Uh, maybe people you work with, maybe people you hang out with, maybe people in your family who need to hear about Jesus. And we don't have to, you know, rush at them or, or, or inundate them uh, uh, completely or smother them. We simply share with them what he's doing in our life and give them the opportunity to have that in their life as well. Uh, that's the key to this whole thing is that allow people to process, allow people to understand, allow people to come to a point where their light goes off in their head and they get it. They get who God is. They get who Jesus is. They get who the Holy Spirit is and they want it to be part of their life. That's how we're going to grow the kingdom today. And that's my prayer. I hope it's your prayer as well. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this ask <clears throat> Paul the Thessalonians that they would be praying this way. Uh, Father, that's our prayer today too, that your gospel may spread, that the good news of Jesus Christ would get into every home of the people we know, uh, that people would be uh, open, that their hearts and their minds would hear the message, that our testimonies, and uh, the good news from the Bible itself, and that they would want to know more about Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you would speak to their hearts directly, uh, that they would have the aha moment where they go, now I get it. And Father, they too would come to know Jesus. Father, we want to see your kingdom grow. May you do so. Uh, may you use our lives to grow your kingdom, whether it be at work or home or wherever we may be. And may you receive all the glory. Father, thank you for your, all that you're about to do in the lives of people today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Hey, we love you as well. Hope you have a wonderful day in the Lord. Let's just share and pray that God's word will spread rapidly. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.